Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Cargo Hub. Today we are sitting here and we're looking at our only cargo train station. Well, it's not our only cargo train station, but it's, I guess, our first cargo train station. And today we're going to be changing this up a little bit. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be changing up the lines that bring in the cargo or the con construction materials and just redesigning how this is going to work because this is going to be our first official station on the cargo hub line that's what it is right now so we're going to change up how it works so let's get into what we're going to be doing today so again we are sitting here and we are looking at this station and right now these two lines that come in and out pretend they also go out here those two lines are for cargo delivery only it is not to the cities. Cargo delivery only to the cities. It does not have anything where we have lines coming in with produced goods or, in this case, stone for the construction materials plant. That's all um, not plumbed in yet. So but that's what we're going to be doing today. And then what we will also be doing is, if we have enough time and we have enough money... We're going to be putting in the station over here, which will allow us to, instead of driving this all the way over to here, we're going to truck it to right here and this, uh, the, the two stones. So the trucks will just be going to right here and then we'll take that by train over to this station right there. And then the trucks that deliver the construction materials here they will not only deliver the construction materials, but they will also um, take stone back to this plant. So, fingers... I mean, I I don't know how it's going to work. This is our first attempt at this, and we're going to see what happens here. So, let's start off by editing this station. And I'm currently fast-forwarding because... <laughs> We need money. So if we take a look at our balances right now, I mean, we're a little bit down here on cash. But this guy should be delivering any time now. Let's check him out. Yeah, he's getting ready to go into the station. And we, I added two more wagons to it. So you can see that he is super slow running up this hill into Corona. But I'm hoping that this one will make a ton of cashola for us. And eventually we should be able to get, you know, more powerful locomotives. Hopefully this thing fits in here. I didn't even think about that. 929,000. So, I mean, that'll work. That'll work. That'll do. All right, so we are right here, and I don't want it to go fast while we're just sitting here doing this. So what we're going to do, let's configure this station, and we are going to get rid of this guy, this guy, all of those. We're going to put in four new tracks. And we are going to put in new cargo buildings, or not. We're not we're, we're not putting in cargo buildings. Oh, we got to put in cargo platforms. Well, see, I knew I I knew why I had you guys around here. You need cargo platforms. Let's click the right buttons for that. And now we can put in our cargo buildings. Let's see, three six three six one right there. And what does that look like? I slapped that guy on the end right there. So the reason I chose those buildings are because they have cargo capacities on them. So what that means is that when we look at this and we look at our terminals, that one holds 160 and this one holds 210. So what we're going to do as well is... Because we don't have anything at this station right now. Let's go ahead and remove this one. This road. 
I know, big undertaking right now. Configure this. Let's get rid of these. Let's put this one here. And then get these two right there. All right. Now let's get to our roads. And we want these. And... Get our road put in here. Oh no. I forgot to hit pause. Cargo station. Now, if I do this, um, it is I guess it'd just be that. Now, did that? Did these guys re-inherit that? So let's do manage the line. Yeah. So we have to put that back in there. Okay, which is fine, because I think that was the only line that ran in there. So we should be good. Forgot to pause, so that is my bad. Uh, the next thing we'll be doing is let's get some lines put in here. Let's get some track put in here. Can I... Let's do this real fast. That is a lot of monies. Okay. That was a lot of monies. That's fine. Again, these will be running separately, so it won't connect into which I should have thought about that when I did that but I should have thought about that when I did that all right well live and learn right And put in our crossover. Too much curvature. I didn't think so. All right. Get our crossover in there. And on this side, same deal. Let's move these guys out here like this. And the same for this one. Let's move it out here. Again, these lines will be separate. They won't be combined. So it'll be like a quadruple track going both ways. But they will be like right next to each other. Because I want to keep them separate. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. So if we keep coming out here like this. Say right there. And then like that. Yeah, there we go. And part of the future expansion will be that we come in, or future expansion, whatever you want to call it, we're going to come in and we'll fix up this so it looks decent, looks good. Okay, so now we want to extend this. We're going to extend all four lines this direction just to get them all next to each other. We're not going to run these lines because we don't need them right now. But we will extend them out like this. They'll just be there for future usage. So kind of like that, and then kind of like that. Sure. Okay. 
Now let's put in our crossovers. All right, station complete, unpause. Let's see if that guy does what he's supposed to be doing now. Make sure, bring it on in, bring her on in, and no money. Whoops. Okay, he has zero construction materials waiting on his thing. Did I lose all my construction material when that happened? I did. Well, goodness. Goodness gracious. That's my bad. That's okay. Well, it'll figure itself out. We've got plenty sitting here. We've got 176 sitting here so as it figures its life out we'll be fine it'll be everything will be dandy it'll be lovely uh okay so the next thing we need to do is bring our line this way and we're going to cross the road over here so let's check our height maps so we're going to kind of go through just this general direction Yeah, we're going to try to do this. We're making money, but we're, we're going to try to do this. If I can get a good angle here. Okay. Track laying is such a fun, th fun thing to watch, but we're doing it. We're getting, we're getting it done. Okay, there's that bridge. So we want to be to the left side of that bridge. I'm not gonna take out the bridge because you know we may need it for something. Again, the hills in this game, I I went with what we could. Uh, like I I went with something that was challenging. You know. So that means I have to be careful on how I build and everything else. Which, you can see, I, I obviously am always doing that in our construction materials is already... ...doing its thing. Nope, I'll just keep going like that. From right here. Let's go like that. Do I have any bridges yet? No, nope. just those. Looks like there's a little kink right there. I know, I should have not done that much. That's fine. That'll work. Okay, so we're going to bring it along this side of the road as best we can, and then to, like, right here. So we want to stop about right here with the track and then put our station in. Was this the inside or the outside track? This is the outside track, so let's put the inside track in. Again, um, you know, we're going to build this, but we I don't know if we'll be able to put the train in yet because train is, might, is like a million bucks. 
Okay, well, let's now do the inside track. Still turning. I'm trying to get as much speed as I can out of this. Again, not that it matters. Our trains don't go this fast, but I'm trying. I'm trying. Because I think it's going to start. Yeah, it's starting to fall now. And later on, we can obviously change a lot of that. Okay, so we want to be right here, I think. Like that. Is that our that's our train track, right? It is. Yeah. What if we crow fly this? What is it? What's it look like? Okay, I like that. Alright, let's get the other track in. And I know at this point I'm just double tracking everything. And, you know, I've obviously been doing that for a while, but I think double tracking is important right now. And eventually, you know, like, I, I don't know what my eventuality was, what I was going to say, but uh, we're double tracking everything. We're just sending it. Full, full send is what we're doing. Okay, so now we want to put in our trucks. We're going to put our truck stop on this side of the road. So let's get the truck stop. Actually, I guess it doesn't matter because we're going to put our building here and so it lines up with that, you know, something like. Something like this, maybe. Sure. Well, if we don't like it, it's there now, right? Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. That'll work. All right. So then what we need to do is configure this guy. And we will get tracks. I'm putting in two tracks in for right now. We're going to put in the second cargo platform. Again, we may not need this. Um, I'm also thinking that I could do, I was like, oh, in my head, I could do two truck stops to the one side. But I think I'll just put the truck stop on this side because we can pause. I don't even know if we're using any of this or not. So that's good. Um, streets. There we go. That's a lot of dimp. But you got to spend money to make money, right?
there. Okay, so that's going to have at least four different things coming into it. Because then we'll probably, I mean, we could almost have all five of these coming in here. But I think for right now we'll have, we're going to put in uh, four of those. So this configure, actually we only need two for right now. Um, but let's do this. I don't think that matters what we name that. Um, what does matter is we need to get be able to get this over to here. So if I was a thinking man, let's go. Eventually, eventually what will happen is, is that we will have it so it, everything's coming out of one, one depot and it'll look nice and not, and not like that. That's going to allow us to get it onto that train line and then we can unpause and then for right now. We can do this, which would allow it to get onto that train line, which that looks horrible. That looks better. We're not going to double st sort of better. Uh, not going to double slip that. We will put a signal in over here for right now. We don't, don't need it, but we're going to put a signal in right here and right here. And then we're going to put them down the line here. I mean, same thing would be like right here, right here, right here. And there's one on that side. I don't know, like right here. Oh, we have to finish the line in. Well, let's do that. Signals. And then put in our crossover. And then our final signal right there. All right. Okay, let's do a new line. And we're going to call this. Let's do a new line. New line from here. Over to here. Good. We're on that correct one there. Correct one there. This is going to be... What do we start the CH? Uh, 
cargo hub. And basically everything will be going on one line with multiple trains. So we're going to call this um, cargo hub raw material or cargo hub cargo trans cargo hub cargo line yes and so basically this line will do everything and eventually like like this conmat shipping will do it'll just be cargo hub shipping line so this would be just the cargo hub this would be um finished So this is the cargo, cargo hub, city delivery, because we're delivering everything to the city. This is just the cargo hub cargo line. And this one will eventually have all the cities in it, and this one will have all the cargo stations in it that are non-city stations. Yes, there we go. Figured it out. All right, we've got that. So the first thing we want to do is start rerouting all of these trucks from this guy. And we're going to say this, manage the line. And we're going to add a station in here. Let's pause. Add a station in here. And we're going to get rid of Toledo West everything will come into here. And then this one, manage the line, add station. Oh, Toledo sidings will be two get rid of toledo west and that should be good so everything will come into there and then we need to purchase a vehicular from here buy new vehicle and a steam train I want to do the, how much money we got? Okay. Can't do it. Cause those are 500,000 each. All right, so if we went with this guy, and then what about these? These are half of that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what if we did six of those? That's 386 horsepower. What if we did the general... we would still have about a million left. I think that's what we're going to do. All right. 
So now what we'll do is this guy is already picking up from here. And he should take back anything that we have to there. So this one also, we're going to manage this line. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a station and it's going to be that station. And it's going to come in on number one. And we're going to get rid of Toledo West. So what that will do is eventually what that will do is that will bring all of the stone, like all the stone will be in the cargo, the cargo hub shipping lines. So all the raw materials that will be coming out. So we'll just have all, you know, like all of that stones coming to here. So not only can it go to this, this construction materials plant, but it can also eventually go to this construction materials plant because it'll all come in here. And because of the cargo hub delivery, that cargo delivery line, it will be able to be transported across the map. And hopefully at some point in bigger trains or maybe enough trains that we don't need huge trains, but enough that it can, you know what I'm saying? Like be profitable. So I was just trying to think, did he pick up already? He did. So that is the plan. So we can see that hopefully, are they actually dropping off here? Actually, it should be over here where they're dropping stuff. So we have, I think we have to wait for that train to get here. So where is it at right there? It's making good time right now. And what, oh, you know what? You know what I was having this guy do? Uh, let's manage this line. Because I remember I, I had this thing wait. It's still going to do a full load, but it's it was waiting. Because I was trying to make it so it um, filled up the first time before it left. All right, there's our new train. She's keeping her going. Uh, let's check our cargo line. Oh yeah, it's in the right. It's on the right spot. It's on the right spot. Hopefully, we're seeing stone stopping here now okay so let's do this and we're going to manage this line and i'm going to forget this later so we're going to the toledo exchange and a full load Probably just broke all of this, but I think this train has to get here first before it will figure itself out and say, okay, well, I need to take construction material. Okay, so it is dropping stone here. And that one is the stone delivery. Stone delivery. Cargo Hub City Delivery. I'm going to call that... I don't know why I called it that, but... Okay. Oh, that's... I was looking at all the lines. This is the Cargo Hub... Toledo con mat D 
delivery. This is the cargo hub. Wait, no, I just did it again. This is the cargo hub. I don't remember what I made this cargo line. This one, Toledo Con Mat Production. This would be the city delivery. Okay. That's what we wanted. So he's got six of those. That is the stone delivery. Okay. We're going to see if he picks up stone here. I'm hoping he does. We're also going to need to make this a lot bigger. Sweet. Sweet. Okay. This, we need to configure. We need to put... And cargo... I don't know, 75... One, two, three. So now that should give us plenty. I'm also going to configure this again, and I'm going to add one here and one here. This guy's dropping off. Okay. And then it's going right over to this side. All right. And our train is in the station. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we're going to see. Toledo Stone Delivery. Come on, baby. Give me some stone. I mean, I could do just this and see if it does it. But I would assume it would work, but I don't know. Guess we'll have to wait and see. That train's coming back across the river. Oh, would you look at that? Let's get a screenshot. I don't think the screenshot worked. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get it, like, right here. That might have been too slow. Let's do this. There we go. That'll work. All right, let's speed this up. See if it actually does what it's supposed to do here. I feel like it needs to know that it's... 
doing what it's supposed to do. Like, oh, it's going to bring some stone over to here. And from here, it'll take it over to there. I'm not going to make you sit through all of that. Uh, I will report back on whether or not our situation here works or if we just screwed the pooch. But hopefully there's no pooch screwage that happens here and everything starts to work. But until that time, until the next time back here in the cargo hub, we've got one more episode this season in the cargo hub and then we will be done for a little bit in transport fever 2 until the next season starts which i'm not sure when that will be but hopefully you've enjoyed this so far and come back for episode 10 next week right here and i thank you so much for hanging out and until then take care but wait there's more well, as a little end, subsection B to our video, um, I'm sure that some of you spotted the reason why it was not working. And it was because in my wiseness, I added on flat cars instead of gondolas. And so taking off the flat cars and adding gondolas is now working and the stone is now being produced again for all of this and we are back in business and it should be working now that i have the right cars on here so there you go buy again and now that i fix this and until next time take care <laughs>